Hi, welcome to Math as a Language. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the, the Angle Edition postulate, and uh, we're going to have a real brief discussion of this uh, postulate in as much as the, uh, we, ju we just discussed the Segment Edition postulate, and the Angle Edition postulate is very similar to it, so there really isn't much new to it, uh, but so we, we won't make a, a long discussion of it. We'll just have uh, be rather brief and uh, and look at some particular points as we did with the segment edition postulate. Okay, um, the angle edition postulate, as as you would suspect, says simply that if you have an angle, let's draw an angle here. We have an angle there. We'll call this angle. Uh, uh, one thing that we always have to do is make these uh, points large enough that we can see them. That's going to be. Let's go with J here, and we'll have K. And L, so we have angle JKL. Okay, so we'll have this as angle. Uh, let's move this down a little bit. This is angle JKL. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and draw another angle here on this side. Let's call this angle. Okay, we'll go with uh, let's go with traditional. Uh, let's go with. Uh, Make these points big. This is X, uh, Y, and Z. All right, so let's go with X, Y, Z. X, Y, and Z. All right, hopefully you can see these points. And we have them a little bit darker now. Okay, all right, so we have two angles. Angles J, K, L, and angle X, Y, Z. Okay. So we have our two angles. Now uh, know that we're doing these things freehand, which is you know uh, fine, and that's the way math is presented uh, in this particular case. But know that we we try to very uh, we're making a very effort to make these angles about the same size. That is to say, in terms of being the same size in mathematics, when we want to say the two angles have the same, the set of points have the same uh, measure, we say that they are congruent to each other. They are congruent, and this is the symbol for congruence. Now, one of the subtle points that we're going to make with con with this uh, with the angle addition postulate is to say that when we say that angles are congruent, know that we're talking about the collection of points. So, in your mind, if you if you can imagine picking up these blue points and actually setting setting them on top of the green points, then what what we're suggesting to you is that they would match perfectly. So, when we talk about congruence, what we're asking actually is talking about is that if you were to take one set of points and to set them down on the other that they would be a perfect match that they would that they would be congruent we're actually talking about the points now one of the things that we want to also point out here is that when we're describing angles we can describe them as sets of points or we can take a look at their measure so let's say that we have this angle uh, is say that this angle has 18 degrees in it all right, 18 degrees, and this guy is also 18 degrees. X, Y, Z is also 18 degrees. Now, again, if we're talking about the 18 degrees, then that's a subtle difference. Instead of the actual sets of points, we're talking about their measure, their, their, the units that describe the distances between these two rays. And for that reason, we would have to put the M in front of it. Where If we're talking about the measure of uh, angle JK, and the measure of angle X or Y Z then know that we're saying that this 18 the 18 degree units these units are equal not congruent but are equal to these 18 uh, units uh, degree units okay so know that when we when you put the little M in front of it in front of the angles you're talking about the measure you're talking about the numerical values and numerical values are equal the angles, the sets of points, are congruent. Okay, all right. Let's move on. Uh, now we're going to take a look at the angle addition postulate. Let's say that we have an angle that looks like this. We have an angle like this, and we also this angle also has a ray that emanates here from this vertex, and we'll go out this way with that angle. Okay, so now we have an angle. We're going to name this angle R S T. And we'll have this guy be V. How about that? Okay. All right. Now the angle addition postulate says first of all we have to recognize we have a few angles at this uh, with the vertex S here, and we're going to go ahead and label them so to keep them straight. We have angle one, and we'll have an angle two here. So angle one is angle RSV. Uh, I, 
and angle 2 is angle uh, VST, we should say. All right. Now, the angle additional postulate, uh, angle addition postulate is, is pretty straightforward, and it is as you would think it would be. We'll go ahead and use uh, three letters. What it says here is that if you take a look at the, the measure of angle RSV, RSV, when added to the measure of VST, the measure of angle VST, then clearly what you as you would expect you would get the the sum of the entire angle and that is the measure of angle RST okay alright so no surprise there uh, simply put the angle the, the sum of the the two smaller angles would make up the measure of the the, the larger angle uh, therefore if we go ahead and put some numerical values here let's say that the angle R V S R V S V is let's say that that guy this is a twenty uh, let's make it twenty five degrees if you will and we know that angle uh, if we know that angle angle two here is let's say that's about eighteen degrees okay we know that the measure of angle R S V which is twenty five degrees okay when added to the measure, now we're talking about the measure, the numerical value of the 18 degrees, that goes with uh, VST, then clearly we would get the sum of the measure, and the sum of the measure of these two angles would be the entire angle, which would be 43 degrees. Okay, And that is as it, we would expect, and that, the, that, that makes sense, if you will, Okay, mathematically. All right. Now, please note again one more time that we're talking about the measure. We're talking about the numerical value, uh, but of course, we can also talk about the congruence aspect of it as well, or just the sum of the measure without without the angle measures. And that would be if we just say that the angle RSV, that this angle one, in other words, angle RSV, when added to the second angle, which is VST, angle VST. Clearly, that would equal, that would be congruent, I should say, that those some of these two guys would be congruent to the entire angle. If we put the one and the two together, these two guys, that would be angle RST, angle RST. All right. Okay. So, similar to the segment addition postulate, there's no great surprise here. We do ask you, however, to make a distinction between the measure of the angles and the angle themselves. Uh, but beyond that, uh, it is as you would expect it to be. The sum of the two smaller angles would be congruent to the entire angle. Okay? All right, that's it for now. Uh, nice quick video today. And again, remind you if you, anything uh, there's a topic that uh, we haven't discussed and you'd like us to uh, to uh, to present it ahead of time, uh, please drop us a line at uh, our, our website, and we will be happy to uh, present that topic ahead of time. Thank you for visiting, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.